Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah that Allah Azza wa blessed us to witness the month of Ramadan. Here we are beginning the fasting. Why do we fast? A question that we have to think about it in order to achieve the purpose that Allah Azza wa wanted us to reach in this month of Ramadan. Because fasting is not just mandated upon us, but also it was mandated upon those before us, as Allah Azza wa Jal said, Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu, kutiba alaykum al-siyam, kama kutiba ala ladhina min qablikum, la'allakum tattaqoon. In the ayah 183 of Surah Al-Baqarah. So, when we say, well, we are responding to the command of Allah Azza wa Jal, and this is good enough, because we have to obey Allah Azza wa Jal in everything that He commanded us. That is true. However, in order to achieve the purpose of fasting, when we think about the purpose, why we fast, we see that in fasting, the two desires that consume most of our time during the day are prohibited. The desire of intimacy, the desire of sex, and the desire of eating and drinking. This is what we have to avoid. Why? This is to achieve liberty to liberate yourself. You are free, free from any chain that would hinder your ibadah to Allah Azza wa Jal, that would hinder your freedom. This is one of the most achieved purposes of fasting. Have you ever wondered why fasting was mentioned together with freeing a slave, not once or twice, but three times in the Quran. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah 196, يجد, If you cannot free a slave, then you fast two consecutive months. Also in Surah An-Nisa, Surah number four, Ayah 92, the same thing. And in Surah Al-Mujadila, Surah 58, Ayah 4. Allah Azza wa Jal is reminding us that fasting is liberation. You are above the shackles that would chain you in this dunya. When you free yourself from these needs, you will free yourself from other needs. You will be liberated and you will never accept injustice. This is one of the objectives that we need to achieve, especially when we see what's happening around the world to our brothers and sisters in Gaza and in other places. A true Muslim who's fasting, who's disciplined to see the food in front of him, but not to eat or drink or to be involved in any sexual desire, he will never accept injustice. You are above that. You will not accept any injustice from, any, from anyone. And the world will be again a better place. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to help us achieving this purpose of fasting. We ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to understand the purpose of our fasting. Yes, there are many objectives. Yes, fasting disciplines us. Yes, when we see the food and drink and we remember that no one is watching us except Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We could eat and drink, but we don't do that because we know that Allah Azza wa Jal is watching us. But at the same time, when we train ourselves that although our body needs this, although our body wants that, there is something better. There is something above with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what we hope to achieve in fasting. May Allah azza wa jal make this Ramadan the best Ramadan ever for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us the fasting, the prayer, and the dua, and all our deeds. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.